Hello, I'm Lara Kocharsan and this is Newsfeed, your dose of what people are talking about online. Kamala Harris has formally accepted the Democratic Party's nomination for president. This marks a historic moment as she becomes the first black and South Asian woman to run for the highest office in the country. Like Andy said, Harris used the main stage to repeat earlier calls for a ceasefire and a hostages deal, pledged support for Israel's right to defend itself and the Palestinian right to self-determination. However, pro-Palestinian supporters expressed disappointment, arguing that her stance aligns too closely with Joe Biden's current policies. One group, called Uncommitted, criticized the convention for not allowing a Palestinian American to speak, while the family of an American Israeli hostage was given the stage. In a significant shift from traditional media coverage, social media influencers are playing a growing role in the US elections. With over 200 digital creators granted media access to this week's Democratic National Convention, these influencers are offering a fresh perspective and engaging directly with younger voters through platforms like Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. Pilar explores the role influencers will play, and Kamala Harris's main challenger, Donald Trump, did not miss the opportunity to respond to her. He took to Truth Social, which is a social media platform largely populated by his diehard supporters, to have his say. This next story focuses on the youngest employees in the workforce. Yes, we're talking about Gen Z, the fastest growing generation of workers. Research indicates they have a different approach to work compared to previous generations, sparking much discussion in workplaces. From their choice of sectors to their career expectations and their eagerness to learn emerging skills like AI, there's a lot to explore. Dominic takes a closer look at some of these trends. Overtourism has been a major issue in Europe in recent summers. Now, many Japanese cities are facing a similar challenge. The country is seeing a surge in tourist numbers, partly because of the weak currency yen. In July, it's no surprise that social media has heavily influenced travel trends, providing tourists with ideas on where to go. Popular search engines have been directing many to explore Tokyo, Osaka, and Kyoto. Locals say platforms like YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok are to blame for the crowds in their cities. The captivating posts from visitors on these platforms have led more people than ever to use social media to plan their vacations. Being a pop star might seem like the ultimate dream, but this glamorous lifestyle has its downsides, and the dream can quickly turn into a nightmare. Rowan isn't alone in her struggles. Many other celebrities have shared similar experiences, highlighting the downsides of being in the public eye. Stars like Taylor Swift and That's Our Show. Find our latest stuff on YouTube and do subscribe to our channel. See you soon.